This is what freedom feels like. Relief, joy, recalling their memories. But for some of the crew of the Naham 3, it was a lot to handle. Four years in captivity is a long time, and it took its toll on these men. They took desperate measures to survive. Four and a half years, it's uh, like a walking dead. How did you survive? Eat the, anything, anything eat, even uh, this, you, this your mouth are no like, but uh, you feel hungry, you eat, you eat. You don't see, I don't, I don't like that, I don't like, no. You just eat, you eat, even your mouth not like. You eat whatever you're given? Yes, we eat bird, rat, yes, we cook it in the forest, meanwhile in the pirates. After almost two years of negotiations, they're finally free and being received by members of their diplomatic missions here in Kenya. Uh, just a sign of how intense and how serious a problem of piracy has been uh, off the coast of Somalia, not just for commercial activity, uh, but also for general seafarers across the Indian Ocean. Patrols by international navies led to a sharp decline in piracy in these waters, but it meant little for the hostages already seized, especially those who are not Westerners. These poor guys, are, um, you know, their ships weren't insured and their ships got wrecked and then they were, they were brought ashore um, and the pirates you know, assumed it was going to be the same as the big highly insured ships and, and of course it's not. So um, getting, them to, uh, getting them to change their demands and come down um, to what you might term compensation for the local community um, is, is the challenge. And is that why it took so long to get them? Yes, I guess so, yeah. This video shows the crew of the Naham 3 while they were still being held, their captors keeping a close watch. But today they're free. Some of them say they'll return to their jobs at sea, a brave move after their ordeal. Tomio Oladikbo, BBC News, Nairobi.